and we're back again. Hooray! Um, goodness, gonna be a lot more pausing and whatnot as we all get more sleepy. Um, pretty soon the older one is, he's saying he's getting tired, so he's gonna be getting ready for bed soon. So we'll pause for that. I'm not even sure where all my brushes went because they all fell earlier, so we may have to clean some brushes as we're going, whatever. We're making this up as we go. We're gonna touch up some of this stuff on my face because I've had a lot of movement. We're gonna add a little color to it because we've got the colorful beard now. It's time to start like really dragging it up a bit, really touching it up and completing the look. I'm having a lot of fun. Like I could stop here, but I'm having a lot of fun with this and I have a more completed look in mind that I'd like to do, so we just touch it up a little bit to make up for all the movement and snuggling I've had to do with children the last couple hours as I've been making this. Brilliant. Alright, I've lost the brush I was using for my highlight, so we're just going to wipe this off. Do a quick look around. No, it's not in here. Or if it is, I don't see it. Wait, I think... No, I covered that one in pink to do Avery's beard. Oh well. Just use this one. It's a little bigger. But it's time to really glam and drag it up, so... The bigger, the better now. Why not? Really feeling those fuckets right now, you feel me? Alright, so let's get that highlight on there. We're just touching up what we did earlier. I don't really have to really explain too much. Just touching up some highlight that I got smudged off earlier from caring for my wee ones. And then we're going to continue dolling up my little guy. I hear an upset kitty cat. I'm going to go address the fur baby now. I'll be back. Pause. And unpause. I think we were just touching up some highlights and some contours. Nose looks pretty okay. Nose usually just kind of is okay. I don't touch my nose a lot unless it itches. Near none, like right now, because I had to talk about it and then I had to itch. Whatever. Um, anyway. Feels pretty touched up. Let's glam this motherfucker up a bit. Um. We may have company in a moment to do that. I'm hearing a knocking at my little closet door. As you haven't noticed, I'm in an actual physical closet. There it is. Knocking, knocking at my closet door. Pause. And we're back. Just kidding. I'm having a great time. This wine is delicious. My kids are being fantastic. All things considered. Really, all things considered. They're kind of a handful. But they're being surprisingly sweet. And, um, chill, which is not normal for them. Anyway, let's put some fucking color on my face some more. We're gonna do eyes. Do some eyeshadow. For this look, I really liked having some purple, and I will add some purple to the beard at the same time that I'm doing the purple for my eyes, it's the same ish shade of purple sorry, I'm obtaining brushes that I can clean up oh goodness I'm being summoned again, it's like all I'm doing is chatting because I keep getting summoned for things by the wee ones um oh he changed his mind, cool, okay so Let's go ahead and get my eyes started. A little purple. I'm gonna do the bright purple here. Do 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 do. Just about halfway for this look. Is he even showing up? Yeah, kind of. I may have to invest in like a better lighting situation. Should I do this more in the future? But this was kind of a fun experiment to do. And if I'm really being honest, the amount of time it's taking me to do this is really not much longer than any other time. I'm just taking more breaks because, I don't know, this is a bit more work than I'm used to having to do. 
but like without those breaks this is like total the same amount of several hours it would take the same amount of like interruptions from the wee ones because I choose to do this at the time of day that I choose to do this daytime is kind of out of the question right now you know the whole like having to do this in a closet thing is <sighs> symbolic in its own way I guess so we got some purple on the eyes I'm going to do that same purple in the beard a little bit let's hope it turns out the way I'm imagining in my mind it's not that's okay. Still add a little bit for a blush effect instead. And we will be adding a little bit of the purple and blue to the contour just to make it more colorful. Um, I'll be putting pictures of the final thing on the Facebook page and I am starting an Instagram page. Maybe the picture from this will be the first post on there. That'll be fun. So add a little bit of a purpley blush kind of thing to the beard since it's not doing the colors I was hoping it would do. And what matters is that it adds some dimensions that will look really good in pictures. That's really fun too. Okay, then we're going to add some dark purple. Let's clean my brush off because I can't find one of the clean ones I was saving for this. Oh goodness, I'm being summoned again. Pause. And we're back again. Little man just wanted to go to bed and I was taking too long to help him. Sorry little dude, at least he's in bed now. So I believe we were adding some dark purple once I figured out what brush I was going to use and We're going to do that. We're going to get our brush, gonna fill it with some dark purple, and start adding in some of the darker areas. I wanted to add some other colored detail too. So, add some purple in there. Add some purple in there. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera in the same way it's showing up for me. I really should consider a better lighting situation here, but until then, this is what we got. Alright, cool, cool, so beard's got about the colors I want, mustache is getting there, go, cool, a little bit purple, uh, give me Another moment, we're gonna pause. And we're back again. And that time it wasn't even kids, that was like text messages, because I do everything, 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 100% everything on this phone. So, more text messages. You can probably hear my phone vibrating as they come in. I've lost my brush again. That's okay, because I just found it as I was bitching about that. Let's get back to work. Get this done. Because again, I'm having fun, but like it's going to stop being fun if I keep getting these goddamn text messages <laughs> while I'm trying to make this video. Just saying. Just add a little bit here. Extra pointiness. And I'm using the purple instead of the black just because in like pictures and shit, that extra little color dimension really pops. Black pops in its own way, but I like being colorful. Um, okay, I'll take that same dark purple and line the eyes. I am not using like an eyeliner pencil. Normally, that's the kind of thing I would do. Another pause. One moment. Okay, cool. We're back, and goodness, made it almost ten minutes into this video, and I haven't really made much. That's okay. It's a process, and it's not that big a deal, except I was hoping to, like, not have these videos be so long, and part of it is me chatting, and part of it is all of the unnecessary interruptions. Like, oh, crap, I just got powder in my eye. See that little dot in my eye? Y'all, I'm just bitching. 
I could have waited till later, but I would have been waiting till like 2 in the morning anyway. And it's not like that would have stopped the text messages. Haha. <laughs> Alright, a line in the eyes. I'm not using a pen because I'm really bad at that. I'll get better eventually, but I still have time to do something I'm not good at tonight. So we're going to do this with powder. Easier to clean off if I fuck it up. Alright. I'm not really winging it. I'm just kind of tipping it here. The eyes I kind of just make up as I'm going. I do want kind of like a fucked up clown look. I did some practice earlier today and last night. Not clown, but like clown inspired. So we're going to do a little bit of that. And... I'm just going to make that happen. Alright. Really not much to say at this point. I'm just kind of fucking up with color. If I had a good video editor, I would just kind of like speed through this. But I don't. So I'm not gonna. You're just gonna listen to me chat and bitch about all the details I'm struggling to get right. Sound fun? Cool. Alright. I don't know why I keep touching my mirror. This is something I do all the time because it's a little touch thing. And I'm always like fucking touching it. <sighs> Can you imagine someone as bad at makeup as me trying to do this with a marker or like one of them cool skin crayon things and trying to make a straight line? It would not work. It just wouldn't. I'm better at looking at the mirror instead of the camera. But I'm also not, like, checking y'all's point of view on this, so, you know. That could be bad. I've already watched a couple of videos a little while ago that did not turn out exactly, like, structurally. It's a lot of background shit you're seeing on the top of my head, not much down here. Whatever. Just notes for later if I ever decide to do this again, which I will. This has been really fun. I won't really have an excuse to do it except to hear myself talk, and I'm getting tired of doing that. Uh, so, cool. Clean up that brush a little bit. I think it'd be really fun to do like blue or purple lips, maybe both. I have materials for doing that, and just enough patience to probably pull it off, so we'll do that. Uh, let's finish up with this face here. A little blue down there. Like, it's really subtle, but, like, in pictures or under really bright lights, it's helpful. So, like, someday when I'm lucky enough to get to do this kind of stuff on stage, all these little detailed things I'm trying to learn how to do will really pay off and grab a lot of attention, and that will really make up for my lack of talent in other areas until I grow that talent. <sighs> Never thought <sighs> I'd be doing makeup for myself like this. This is, I don't know. I like the idea of being pretty. I just never much cared for the time to do makeup until it was something like this. this is fun. Okay. And the white. Well, I don't have white yet. I will get some, but like the closest thing I have to a white. I need to get myself a clean brush to make this happen. And none of these are very clean. I had more brushes. I don't know where they've been wandered off to, so just gonna wipe that off and hope for the best. Um, let's see where's the white I'm looking for. I'll go with this pretty little silver color. It's not the one I was looking for, but it's honestly working better. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. One, how often that happens. You know, I'm sure there are, like, specific brushes you're supposed to use for different parts of your eye and stuff like that. I don't know how any of that works. I just make this shit up as I go. Because I'm just kind of making it up as I go and learning what works 
for me and learning from mistakes. I'm trying to pick up on like specific things in videos, but they use words I don't always understand. And names for things I don't understand. And la di da di da. Alright. I is pretty much done. This eye also pretty much done. It's over under here. There, a little bit of color going there. Let's go ahead and uh, add some color to my contour and my hairline because that's always fun to do. It's just. Teensy, teensy, tiniest bit of blue. Just a little bit. Just a hint at the fact that I used blue at all in my contouring. Skinny little line of it. It's more just to round out the colorfulness. Not so much to be there. When I get really good at this someday, I might be able to do just, just blue contour, how cool would that be someday, but right now it's just like the equivalent of a racing stripe. It shows up real good for pictures and under bright lights and it really just kind of rounds the color out. Do a little, little smidgy of it up here. Okay. And a little smidgy of it here. There we go. A little bit of color. Mm, not gonna do it to the nose contour. I'm just not. I'm sure it would look okay, but not if I did it. So we're just not even gonna fuck with that. Just gonna complete this look a little more. Add a little bit more details just for the funsies of it. I like to do fun things like add to my eyebrows, little like stripes. I like adding those fun details. They look cool. I'll get better at it eventually. But for now, it's just fun for extra color. Add a little bit of the silver in between to bring out the blue stripes. It's not like a lot, but for pictures, it makes a big difference. And I've been mostly relying on pictures, so. Add a little bit of the silver to my highlight for more color enhancement. Really mostly just shows up in the pictures, but it does look nice when it does show up, so it's cool to have. Alright, I think we have basically completed this face. Um, I did want to add some like blue to my hairline. I always thought that was really fun. And then I want to do some lipstick to really round it off. So first fuck up my hairline a little bit. Add a little blue to that. I think that's kind of fun. I've always liked the idea of adding some extra color to the hairline. I think that's really pretty. It looks really glamorous when done right. I'm not saying I'm doing it right. I just think it's fun. To like create the illusion that like the shadow of my hair on my scalp is blue. Like that's it's kind of cool to me. I like it. But you gotta, I'm fine. You gotta get like in there a little bit. Otherwise, it just looks like a line. So you get in there a little bit. It looks a little more like it was meant to be that way. Which is fun. Let's get a little more up here. Not really necessary unless I decide to put my hair up, which, I don't know, depends on how many pictures I decide to take after this. And that really just depends on how many more cups of tea I think I can handle. Like, I'm not even drunk, I'm just, ugh, gaining weight. <laughs> not in a flattering way. Uh, Alright, so, got my hairline. That's the brush I was looking for. It was in my hair. I put it in my hair. That's the brush I was looking for. Just found it in my fucking hair. Funny how that works. A little purple in the deeper parts. 
just because I like to feel like I'm being thorough. I don't know if it's really going to make that much of a difference, but I like to feel like I'm being thorough. Wow, this video is like 20 minutes long. Okay, well, we're basically done. So, just the teeniest, tiniest more details. And then, I'm going to strike a couple poses for you. Let me take this nasty ass hair down. See if it maybe completes the look. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's take a look at it real quick. Alright. What we got here? Got our face. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with my hair. But. You see different colors to it. There's the whole face. Maybe add a little bit. Of like extra little things like dots at the end of my lines, maybe some dots above my eyebrow, where my other line would line up, brilliant, doesn't look half bad, I'm pretty proud of this one, I think it looks very cheerful and scary in its own way, I don't know, I like it, hope you like it too. This is my slightly fucked up ringleader look. He's not fully complete, but I think he's the first costume I'm going to do, so... I'm surprised my phone hasn't chopped this video up like it has the other ones at like 14 minutes, so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, and there we are. I take flowers as a fucked up... Circus ringleader, maybe. I don't know. I like this look. I like the colors. Worked out for me. I'll take some pictures, share them on Facebook and Instagram. For the four of you or more who paid attention, thank you. This was fun. I'll probably make shorter videos later and learn how to edit, actually edit videos later. So, cool. Bye.